So we wanted to go over the slides for the from the uh, software and basically allow you guys to understand how you're going to be able to drive more information from these. Uh, essentially, you've got a, a legend that says, you know, this is a right ear recording of an HRT-7 on a 9.5 inch Griffin Mark I rifle uh, that's a DI Air-15 with Remington 220 subsonic 300 blackout ammunition. And you, you get a graphical representation of that acoustical event, the waveform. Uh, in pressure and kilopascal scale with time in milliseconds. And we're standardizing on 80 milliseconds for these slides such that our averaging information is comparable for our, our various measurements. And so y you get to see uh, the Army risk units per round. It's associated 5.519. And it gives you a number of exposures with no protector in a worn condition, so you're the shooter, you know you're firing. And it says that's 90.6 rounds with, because this is below 140 dB, we're 97% uh, accurate in our ability to predict that 90.6 of these rounds fired in a week uh, will not result in hearing damage for 97% of the, of the population. And uh, if you want to multiply this by 0.4 for 40% of this number, you'll get the daily exposure limit uh, that the HA tool uh, is telling us that this right ear position is associated with with this uh, combination of ammunition, firearm, and suppressor. Uh, you can also see that the, the peak pressure level, 134.9, is below 140, which is where the statistical accuracy of this AHA tool is greatest. Uh, it's important to note that noises that are louder than this will get uh, slightly favored and their ARU risk dosing will diminish from where it really should be, most likely, is what it, is what it appears happens from our experience with this tool. Uh, but however, this, this uh, exposure is a nice one to look at as it's below and in that 97 percentile accuracy range. And it's saying that peak event occurred at 6.2 milliseconds down here. We can see it right here. It's at you know, negative 0.11 approximately kilopascals. And you can see that uh, approximately 10% below that peak signature is a near peak event. Uh, that's about probably two decibels below. And this one here uh, is probably three decibels below this peak signature event. And over, you know, the waveform allows you to see those peaks, uh, see the density of the waveforms, uh, see the duration and time that the, you know, the, the relevant dangerous part of the signature happens in. I would say that this, this is pretty much beginning uh, around 4.3, 4 4.2 milliseconds. And it ceases to be uh, a very dangerous sound around, uh, what is that? That looks like seven maybe seven milliseconds. So we got about three milliseconds of uh, our really heavy part of the waveform followed by it's, it's bleeding off. And, and we have bolt closure, I think, on the, on the auto loading system here, you know, this little event. Uh, the LEAQ and LEQ is the average over this time history. And so the average sound A weighted over this, uh, 80 millisecond span of which the, you know, they're, ta they're, they're looking at the relevant 77 from the beginning to the end uh, is 110.229 dB. And then the unweighted portion of that average, uh, so the same, the same average number, but in the unweighted regime uh, rather than A is 113.478. Then you've got an old, uh, the preceding metric for exposure limit was a weighted energy and this was found to be like i don't know if it was it was something like 40 to 60 percent accurate accurate so not nearly as accurate in predictions as the new uh aru system with the high measuring tool but it's it's saying the old metric would have said 1144 rounds uh you know i, I believe that's per day and this this new metric is saying 90.6 a week uh, but they're both relevant numbers and they allow you to see, uh, to compare one silencer to another. 
uh, and, and this is relevant in the form of, uh, it's just another, uh, you know, number that you're gonna see change from one silencer to another. And you can say, okay, this one did better in allowable A-weighted energy, so maybe its A-weighted energy is really low. And this one did better in, you know, army risk units. And uh, you can look at these averages and say that one can maybe was 114 and the other was 110. And, and you could say, this is the better can, it's 110. You know, it's four decibels less than average in the LA, LA EQ uh, metric. And, and obviously we could size this graph really small and then we'd be looking at data from a more select area. The Ha uh, manual suggests we use uh, 100 milliseconds. We use 80 uh, because it's a little tighter and we see some people uh, doing measurements and looking at these averages down to about four ms, and and that's really uh, really tight. Uh, for the sake of you know allowing us to see some of the graphical representation and uh, get an average of most of the uh, signature, as you can see, obviously there's very little going on out here. Uh, we chose 80 because it's close to the 100 that they're recommending and it's not four millisecond tight and, and disregarding a whole bunch of potentially what you could see as relevant information right here. So that's basically the synopsis of how to read these things. I hope this helps you guys uh, derive more information and interpret the data.